The bell in round one. And immediately Reyna on the attack. And they are doing their wow. version of Fried Takayama in the distance commitment. Mamma mia! Wow! <laughs> I don't know if this is the wisest move for King Reyna, but she's being a king right now. Reyna looking for that Uchibata. Gets that judo throw in and puts Jazzy Gabbard on her back, but what a start! Wow! He fights as Reyna right into side control. Don Fry, Yoshihiro Takayama in pride. If you haven't seen it, well, after tonight's card, Google it. Fully legal here under Ryzen rules. Reyna's got great side mounting. She, she, she sucked the arm up of Gabbard on the other side there. And Gabbard, unfortunately, seems like a fish out of water on her back. Reyna now with the crucifix. And nowhere to go for Jazzy Gabbard as Reyna rains down the right hands. Wow, I thought she would have stayed in that. Why did she move that she had the crucifix? Now again. She's going back. And it's, I think, just a matter of time. So far, the alpha female is the, well, the king, Reyna. And a reign of terror thus far here in this rising fight against Jazzy Gabbard, King Reyna, who wants to put the female lightweight division on the map. Well, I'd like King Reyna to keep in that side position and to keep those up. Resulted in Jazzy Gabbard being put on her back and hammer fist to the belly now by King Reyna. But look at the strength Wow, of Jazzy Gabbard trying to turn the tide, trying to stem the wave of attack. Knee to the head by King Reyna. See Gabbard in her rising debut under two minutes left of the opening round. And Reyna's using all of her body here to do, to do this full control. Completely Jazzy trapped. Gabbard trying to buck up, but I mean the, the crucifix position that this. One of King Reyna's hobbies is origami. And she would love to, to fold Jazzy Gabbard like a, a piece of origami here. Is she looking to move into full mount? Ground and pound from King Reyna. She's got to watch the height. She would love to be coronated. Lightweight champion, King Reyna. Battling Jesse Gabbard. It's the arm bar. Hammer fist. Full mount, posture. Oh, now Gabbard just trying to hold on for dear life. 30 seconds remaining in an opening round that has been dominated by King Reyna. Back into the crucifix. She's wearing down. And looking for that far side. Double wrist lock. Roll that elbow up. And the body can Oh, wait a minute. King Reyna looking for the spinning back fist, and she got countered by a shot from Jazzy Gabbard. And again, they begin round two like they began round one. And I would think King Reyna doesn't want to get involved in something like this with even a, you know, less than technical Jazzy Gabbard who has a size advantage. Yeah, just the height and the reach, and, and you know, good shot that lands. Another really, right hand and that was a good shot. Yeah, it's a dangerous game she's playing. Oh man, Gabbard continues to fight her with the right hand, but there's Reyna closing the gap. King Reyna's got to get her hips inside. She can't get her hips inside. There she it is. Score the takedown, nice. and the judoka does it again. Just comfortable, top position in that half guard. Man, again, she's giving up over 30 pounds. I remember. Well, many of these kinds of matchups in Pride Fighting Championships. What about when Mark Hunt fought Vanderlei Silva? Oh. How about Emmanuel Yarbrough and Daiju Takase? Uh, that had to be the biggest difference ever. Crazy, man. Crazy. There have been some crazy uh, size disparities. It's so compelling, though. I guess, well, that's, I mean, it's, it's about entertainment here in Japan as much as anything else. And 
And the this fight has been entertaining. Yeah. It brings the question all that size, strength, technique. Right up. Top position now inside control. Really just controlling Jazzy Gabbert again. Fight is judged as a whole 50% damage, 30% effect of aggression, 20% control. Get her hips to the mat. That's a good hold. Just past the midpoint of the second round. King Reina, and now in the full mount, giving up the side choke and looking to deliver some ground and pound as Jazzy Gabbard wants to control that posture. But high up in the full mount, Reina just having her way with Jazzy Gabbard. I remember being there with Ensign anyway, him elbowing my head in. I remember a hotel room incident with Ensign anyway. Very happy to still be here. I blame Boss Rudin for that one, too. All leads back to Boss. Always leads back to Boss. What a rivalry you and him had in Pancras. How about him breaking my nose our first fight? Amazing. Made him back for that. And again, crucifix, modified crucifix here. Knees to the body by Reyna. Good knees. Now, rain up from side control, and that really what this fight has been all about on the ground. The the dominant control of King Reina now from north south position momentarily back into cross side position under a minute left in the second round. And it's I mean, are you surprised that King Reina's been unable to put Gabbard away? I mean, she's had the crucifix. She's had her in so many compromising positions. She's big and strong, though, and she's not just laying there. She's, she's trying to stop this. It's a big girl. And let's not forget King Reina Mura in just her fourth professional fight in mixed martial arts. I remember when Wants I fought TK, he was 240 pounds. So every time he hit me and did something, it just threw me everywhere. Basun also fought TK. But TK defeated Fyodor Emelianenko. Well, should have brilliant rings. Oh, King Reyna going for that arm bar. She won. Three. She had to, there it is. Extending the arm, it's over. King Reyna submits. Jesse Gabbard via armbar to improve to three and